decades ago, experienced reloaders like myself used to blindly tell everybody that you should never touch your primers. Some chemical engineer in some chat room would tell us that our skin oils will soak into the primer compound and render it useless. That's if we didn't die of lead poisoning first. Surprisingly, nobody tested that theory for a long time, and everybody blindly believed the internet chemists. It became so canonized in the religion of reloading that reloading manuals would state that as a fact. I felt like you could get into trouble for inappropriately trying to touch your primers. So men refused to touch their primers or make eye contact with their primers for a long time. Of course, Joe Biden is probably sniffing primers right now. For the exception of some grumpy old holdouts, most reloaders today understand that we were just overreacting to speculation. About 15 years ago, Benchrest and F-Class shooters started using single loading hand primer tools like the Sinclair or the k &M tool. And people started to realize that maybe touching primers was okay after all. World champion shooters were touching their primers and nothing bad was happening as a result. At the same time, YouTube really started to take off and creators were desperately looking for content ideas. Several reloading and shooting channels started actually testing primers that have been exposed to skin oil, sizing wax, and even penetrating oils. What they found was that it's really hard to kill a modern primer. One competition shooter poured REM oil all over his hands, seeded 25 primers, then seeded 25 more primers uh, without handling the primers and using tweezers only. After 50 rounds had been fired, he found that he had the exact same group size, point of impact, and standard deviation with the primers that were exposed to oil and the ones that weren't touched at all. Another guy sprayed WD-40 on his primers, um, let them sit, and those fired perfectly when he loaded them. Recently, F-Class John made a video where he filled, he filled up primed cases with Hornady one-shot, let it sit for a while, dumped it out, loaded the cases, and they all fired. There's absolutely zero evidence that handling new primers with your hands will ruin them or subject you to lead poisoning. You know, although it's very easy to logically conclude that touching primers could be bad, the theory has no basis in actual facts. Lead dust exposure can happen with a spent primer, especially while you're going through the decapping process, but it's not an issue at all with brand new primers. Your skin will not contact the priming compound, and that's not even possible, really. People forget that we're not actually exposing the priming compound at all when we handle a new primer. The compound has foil paper over it and then a thick metal anvil over that. The compound isn't exposed at all like people think it is. When you handle a new primer, there's no way to physically touch the priming compound because it's covered with foil paper and a metal anvil. You know, touching the top of the anvil with skin oils while handling a new primer has absolutely no effect on the function of the primer. There are people out there right now driving around alone in their cars with the windows rolled up while wearing two masks and a face shield. There's also people priming their brass wearing latex gloves and using tweezers. Do you see the similarities? <laughs> if it gives you peace of mind, before you set up and prime your brass, just clean and dry your hands off. You now grabbing primers and single loading them into a primer seeder or even turning primers over in your tray with your hands will not damage your primers. There's a great deal of old wives' tales and superstition 
involved with reloading. And touching primers definitely falls into this category. Well, thank you for watching. And as always, good hunting.